How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how many sit-ups should you do a day to lose stomach fat. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. So how many sit-ups should you do? Everyone wants to know a specific number, say 100, 200, 300, 400. Um, you'll sometimes hear people on like, I hear this all the time with like boxers, for example. Oh, we do 2,000 setups a day. Or MMA guys, we do 1,000 setups a day and stuff like that. And you'll see their abs and you'll be like, whoa, their abs are super shredded. Like I should do 1,000 setups per day. Doing the same amount of setups every single day is not good to do. It is really, really bad to do. Even let's say you started doing a thousand setups in a row. What happens is the minute you are able to do those 1000 setups in a row, your body has already adapted to that. So you're no longer going to be seeing barely any type of gain because your body has already seen that. The point of lifting weights is to actually break the muscles down, you then eat in a caloric surplus and then that builds them up. That's kind of how the process works. It starts off by you lifting weights. Again, I'm talking about lifting weights, but the same thing works for sit-ups. You lift weights, for example, or you do your sit-ups. This breaks the muscle down, your abs are a muscle. And then what happens is you rest for a day or two or however long you wanna rest for, you allow that muscle to heal and it heals and recovers and grows bigger because you're now eating a caloric surplus as well. So what you're missing is the progressive overload. We need to be doing more than what we did the previous time and that is how muscle growth needs to occur. Two things need to happen, eating in a caloric surplus and progressive overload. Those things have to happen if you wanna build muscle. And that is the thing, even though we are losing stomach fat, we are still trying to maintain the muscle because our abs are a muscle. So while we're losing the stomach fat, we wanna make sure we're maintaining our muscle as well. Now you don't have to eat in a caloric surplus, obviously, again, if you wanna lose the stomach fat, then eat in a caloric deficit. But that's kind of the principle behind why you don't wanna do the same amount of sit-ups a day because your body adapts to it and then you're not progressively overloading. You need to be doing more. That's why when people start off in the gym, they're only benching 135 and then 10 years later, they're benching 400 pounds. They look 10 times, not 10 times as big, but they look three times as big because they have gained all that progressive overload. Every single day, they were doing more and more and more and more. So I would start off doing say 100 sit-ups and then every single day or every other day, whatever you train, just try to add two to three sit-ups and just keep adding on more and more. End of video, thank you so much for watching.